So welcome to my tutorial DFT code in one hour and next last time we calculated hydrogen and on this part two we will extend it to helium atoms. So we and we want to do DFT. So we'll be introducing self-consistent loop. We'll be introducing exchange potential. Uh, we'll be introducing heart rate potential and the calculation of total energy and furthermore also compensation charges. Um, so there's a lot to be done. So let's start just by copying the old hydrogen to our new helium. And let's see. Okay, and let's just uh, as a safety measure make this as small as possible since we're gonna probably test this couple of times. So the main difference is that charge is now too. And what we'll be needing is the wave function. So let's just take the wave function from here. And then we can, as you know, the density is uh, uh, square of the wave function. And we are, have two electrons on this one single orbital, one s orbital of the helium atom. And furthermore, we want uh, the density to integrate uh, uh, to, of course, the two electron density. So to do this, currently the wave functions are normalized at the sum of uh, the two norm is one. So we we'll just um, divide the wave functions coming from MATLAB eigensolver uh, with this factor. And now we have the correct density. So the, our density is like electrons per uh, unit volume, as it's supposed to be. Now we can already readily calculate the exchange potential in one single line. So we just, uh, I'll just uh, type this expression. This is a textbook ex expression. You can look it up. And we're done with the exchange potential. The, now we can calculate the heart rate potential. And we'll be doing this, solving basically this type of equation. So this in uh, Poisson equation in atomic units. And we'll be solving this equation using the conjugate gradient solver, which were good on sparse matrices. So the expression is like this. Set some tolerance and some max iterations also. Um, and we're ready with the Poisson equation. So, next step, of course, is to calculate the total potential, which is sum of these exchange heart rate and external potential. And next step is to calculate the total energy. So, we'll start with the kinetic energy. And we have two electrons and the expectation value of the kinetic energy operator is done with an sort of uh, inner product. And we also want to multiply it with volume element since we are integrating real space. And also the external potential. So it's the density times the external potential of course and multiply it by volume element. So it is sort of a Riemann integral like representation of space that is discrete. Okay, 10 heart rate potential and it's the same as external potential except with factor of one half and you're sort of, it's your homework to do, uh, get it where it's coming from. And then we also have the exchange potential and let's just copy paste this one. So we need to integrate uh, the potential like this so and of course integrate the potential with respect to n to get the energy uh, density and then we sort of integrate also over real space uh, let me just um, copy paste the output here so to sort of debug we have all the energies here and of course our total energy is now Kinetic energy plus external plus heart rate plus exchange. Okay, but one difference here is that now we notice that our eigenvalues here, eigen um, and orbitals and density depend on the um, 
total potential of the system. So we have to make a self-consistent loop. Let's just make it infinite. We'll know how to cancel. Break it when it's done. So now we're sort of supplying the um, total potential calculate here back to the equation. So this is a partial differential equation which is non-linear. Um, and let's just start with co Hamiltonian guess. So take the total potential as an initial step to be equal to the external potential, so-called co Hamiltonian guess, initial guess. So I think we are pretty much done with this code. Let's just test it, except for the compensation charges. So let's see. I have here um, a cheapo calculation, actually the setup generator. So here's the exact radial solution of this problem and here we've got minus 2.72 so this is what we're trying to get this is the total energy of helium atom and let's just see if this works actually for speed I just put 20 here Oops. It se doesn't seem to work, so we might have some sort of debugging here to do. Yeah, our total energy is way too off. So, um, let's just... Um, since we're anyway missing the compensation charges, let's just add them, and then uh, we'll try to figure out what's wrong. So, um, what is going on is that we have this discrete Laplacian and it sort of implicitly assumes zero boundary conditions. So we're solvi solving a helium atom uh, like a box, metal box of uh, six angstroms, I mean six atomic units, and it's sort of grounded. So we're forcing the potential to be zero uh, in this equation. So we actually want to make uh, this sort of n comp compensation charge. And we want to make it like this. That it's a Gaussian distribution. And let me just uh, multiply this with correct factor so that it integrates to uh, minus two. And so now, in this part of the, we just add compensation charge. So the total charge of fed to this Poisson solver is now zero. So it decays faster than um, 2 over r, what was it previously. So the zero boundary conditions aren't so harmful anymore. But since we added it, we need to sort of uh, cancel it also. So we'll just know the potential analytically. So check Wikipedia for uh, Poisson equation and I think you will see this example. And I sort of know that the Poisson solution for this Gaussian charge distribution is like this. So I added it here, and outside this equation I subtract it. So, so let's see if it if the code works now. And we're having some reasonable eigenvalue at least. And let's just see. 2.47, so let's just compare to this cheap of here. So we are pretty close on energy. Eigenvalue is okay. Uh, exchange potential 0 0.85, 0 0.80. I think we have a working code here. So let's just run it one more time with uh, slightly larger parameters. And I think we're done. So it, this, this is the core guess, it's supposed to be minus 2, we're on 1.95, so we are pretty accurate, but of course it's sort of nonsense to calculate these atoms on finite grid, so they don't want people moving to pseudo potentials and that sort of stuff. So we'll just, I'll just talk for like uh, 5 or 3 iterations of this uh, thing, and then later on we'll be mo moving to I'm going to at least talk about the icon solvers, how to do subspace diagonalization, then about the periodic boundary conditions and the pseudo potentials and k points. And I think it will take like um, um, three or four more videos for the full code. 
So let's just uh, cancel this on the next iteration, check the final result and end this part 2. So 2.60, 4 is the energy and 2.72. Um, we are pl pretty close. I'm confident that uh, this sort of, for example, the exchange, exchange energy is almost, um, almost perfect. 0.85. So I'm pretty confident that this code really works. Okay, so see you next time.